very, very beginning of the poem, like okay. the yep. first one. So what we actually have here is, um, we showed on Tuesday an actual live version that was connected to the vehicle and showed these functionalities, but what we have, uh, so that everybody can experience it, the ability to download it, uh, your Lexus, your Android, your iPhone, uh, and this one already has it downloaded, obviously, but you, uh, once you download the OnStar experience, there's a little disclaimer screen telling you that, you know, it's not really connected to a vehicle. When you, uh, when you come into the first screen here, what you'll notice, uh, actually we'll jump back to the edge, is that uh, we have a lot of information about the Volt so you can see your state of charge and what's going on with it. So you can see the time when, and again, this was a demo, shows it out in the future when the vehicle is actually available, but uh, you'll see when you pull your data, you see your, how much charge is in your battery, how many electric miles are available to be driven, and then your total miles to drive the vehicle. It also will show if it is plugged in or not, uh, and it shows 120 or 240 volts, so we'll be able to see that as well. There are multiple charging uh, capabilities within the bolt. You can either charge every time you plug in, or if you want to be grid friendly, you can have it only charge during certain times. And if you do that, uh, it'll display what is in and, and where you're at. Uh, we have what we call the brag bar down here, which shows your lifetime miles per gallon, how many electric miles you've driven, how many uh, total miles you've driven the vehicle. If you click on that, it'll actually show you what your last trip was and what you're likely to get. In this particular example, if you drove 12 miles and you had full charge, you have infinity for miles per gallon. You then have the uh, the uh, capabilities of the um, uh, same thing as the key fob would have, so you can lock, unlock, remote start the vehicle, um, the line, flash the lights. The remote start may seem a little funny because it's an electric vehicle, but what it does is if you're still plugged in, or even if you're not, it'll get the cab to the right temperature, so you're taking energy out of the house as opposed to uh, using miles that you could be driving. Uh, down here we have uh, the charge mode, so this particular one is showing it's already set to delay grid friendly, but you can either change this, and when you change the setting, it actually does go out to the vehicle and tell the vehicle which mode to be in. And then uh, also you've got notifications, we've got some alerts we're actually pretty excited about. Um, one that we have here is that if you uh, get home, you're supposed to plug it in, you have it set to grid friendly mode, and uh, it will start charging, you know, say 11 o'clock at night, you're ready for ADM. Um, you can set a reminder that says, hey, if I'm not plugged in, send me a reminder and tell me to go out and plug it in. Same thing with the uh, charge uh, complete, so you can get an alert, uh, either SMS or email, every time that you, uh, uh, every time that it reaches a full charge. And the last one here is a charge interruption. So if uh, someone pulls the plug or your house loses power, you get an alert, or your, like for example, your charge is work. If uh, someone pulls the plug out, you get an alert saying, hey, something just happened to your cord, they want to check on that. So. Of course, we have a little status so you can see when was the last time you sent the transaction, was it successful, failed, uh, or uh, still pending. And then uh, we also have the ability to do a little personalization here. So you can name your bolt to whatever you want to have. So this particular is what we call the spark. You can put whatever you want. And again, once you download this app, you can play with it as much as you want. Um, the one thing that I will show you here, I have to go back to the same settings, but. One of the things that we can do too, even if you're in an eco-friendly mode, good-friendly mode, and have it delayed to start charging at a later time, you decide you want to go out. I'm just going to get one more screen here. Uh, you can do a one-time charge override. So you can be sitting in your office, delayed, you're like, oh man, I forgot to change the setting. I can do a one-time override that will just help start charging right now. So, and uh, again, that's the uh, that's the uh, overview. Uh, any questions? Let's not get it. <laughs> uh, as soon as the vehicle launches. Yeah, uh, yeah so the absolutely what Android market at the same time as the vehicle launches. Uh, it will be available everywhere, right? So, uh, we're already, actually, the demo app is The demo now, yeah, I was yeah. playing with it the other day. Yeah, so you can do uh, 